quote Judy Cagle, damn these lights. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so entering high school, I had no idea what to expect. You know, as an eighth grader, I thought that I was the most self-actualized person out there. <laughs> Which I soon realized not to be true. So, so, when I enter ninth grade, of course, something very ex unexpected happens. You know, I fall in love. And this falling in love is, is very strange for me because I suddenly feel like I can understand all of these people who came before me. You know, I feel like I can understand songs better, I can understand poetry better, I can understand literature better. Everything, all my senses just feel heightened. And, and you know, this sort of, I, I like to consider this the beginning of my musical career. Um, and so basically, not only, but with love, and like with this, it was not only good because of course the unexpected part of this was the fact that she was a girl. And so loving a girl, of course, brings on other parts. And these other parts are that, oh, well, am I gay? And so I thought a lot about this. And of course, at first, I didn't, I didn't know. I had no idea. And this threw me into this huge blurry gray zone of not knowing who the fuck I was. <laughs> and so, and in this very blurry gray zone, I was miserable. And although I had, although loving someone, and as anyone can, anyone who has ever loved someone who hasn't loved them can say that when you love someone, you feel this immense sort of joy, but then five seconds later, you feel incredibly depressed. And so this, the, loving this person throws me into this deep depression. And as a ninth grader, being depressed is very abnormal. And I felt completely out, out of place. I felt isolated, alienated. I didn't feel like I was like anyone else. And so I actually started to feel like I didn't want to be alive anymore. And feeling like you don't want to be alive is one of the scariest feelings ever. And standing up here saying that is surprising right now, you know, like, <laughs> just the words like, I don't want to live anymore is scary. You know, and I kept having this image in my head like, I don't want to be alive, I want to be a tree, and I just want to plant my roots in the ground, and I just want to grow, and I don't want to be a person anymore. So, you know, time passes. I don't like this girl forever, you know. I, I fall out of love, you know. That's not the issue. But, but, with, <laughs> but with falling out of love with this girl comes other girls. You know? <laughs> and, of course, you know, the people I like don't like me because, of course, they're straight. And, and, the people, and the people that like me, I don't like because I'm self-destructive. <laughs> And, and so it's, it's this very long process of being incredibly depressed, but then also having friends, and like, okay, it's very confusing. So fast forward, junior year, right, that's three years in between, um, junior year, in, this, in the um, winter break, I go on a vacation with my family to the Galapagos Islands, you know, this is the land of evolution, of change, and I go there, and I'm on the boat, I'm on a boat with um, my uncle, and... He, this is a guy who had got divorced about five years ago. He had to redefine what he viewed as family. You know, what is family? What does that mean? If, I, if I'm not with my wife, like, what does this, what does it mean to be a family? So he says to me something I will never forget. He says, you know, Sophie, life is change and adapting to change and, and loving that change. And I sit there and I'm just like, damn, Uncle Michael. <laughs> and and so I, and I think about it, and you know, we're watching the sunset. It's very poetic. Um, and then so the next day, we're on a very a smaller boat, and we're ru we're rushing through the ocean. And I, the wind is smacking my face, and the sun is radiating on my entire body, and I look at all the people around me, and we're all smiling. And it's very genuine, and I hadn't felt happiness in a very long time, you know, at this point I, I would even tell you that I had never felt it. And in this moment, I feel complete, utter bliss. You know, I feel one with everything. I feel one with my family, with my sisters, with my parents. And more importantly, I felt, I felt one with the sea, with the air, with, with, but more, most importantly, myself. You know, I felt like, yes, life is not binary. And life is change and adapting to that change. And that's hard. And it will not, it's, you know, life is not stagnant, and it will not stay the same. And I, although I still just don't know who I am, that's okay. And I had to learn the lesson of that being okay. And although I cannot be a tree, I know that I can grow. Thank you. Yeah.